Ugh. It really tastes like cough syrup. Hey everybody, so if you are on a weight loss journey or you're trying to keep your health in check and you want some great ideas for low carb foods in Hawaii, make sure you guys watch the very end. All right, everybody, so first up, we are at Asian Mix for our very first low carb meal in this video. So I'm gonna go and order right now. I get a chasu and roast pork um, plate, but can I make it all vegetables, no rice? All right, everybody, so I just got my food from Asian Mix, so I'll show you guys what I got. So this is their roast pork and chasu plate. I got it with all vegetables because this video is gonna be a low carb video. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with the amount of roast pork that I got. So it's a little bit uh, less than what they normally give. I don't know if it's because of the whole supply issue and the whole COVID and all this crazy stuff that's going on in the world right now. But um, in my very first video that I made about Asian mix, they actually gave a whole lot more food. But again, this was before all the craziness happened in the world. So I wanna say in this video, this low carb video that we're doing today, it's not just Asian mix that you should go to. It's any Chinese restaurant that can hook you up with a meal without rice, without whatever starches that you don't want if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to go and take control of your blood sugar and whatnot, okay? So I'm just using Asian mix as an example. So basically any Chinese place. So one thing I gotta say though, because I got it with all vegetables, it is kind of soggy right here because of the liquid from the vegetables. So you guys see that? So it makes the roast pork a little bit more on the soggy side. Okay, we're gonna go and take a bite out of this roast pork. The skin is actually so crunchy, but that particular piece that I got was on a very dry side. Let's try another piece right here. Hmm, much better. So the roast pork does have a good amount of flavor to it. I do like the pieces that are more on the moist side, but I think sometimes, especially with roast pork, it's kind of like a hit and miss. Let's try some of this chasu right here. Look at this beautiful chasu. Mm. The flavor of the chasu, very, very good. It goes right all the way through. Sometimes when you eat chasu, you just taste it right on the outside of it. But this, you can totally taste it right into the center of the meat. So the chasu at Asian Mix is pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's the best. The best chasu that I had was actually from Sandy's Cafe in the Cultural Plaza. I'm gonna go and leave my chasu video in the description box down below so you guys can go and check it out but I actually gotta go back to Sandy's and eat their chasio again, because it was pretty good. All right, let's get some of this choice sum right here. Very good for the number two. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. So good, no. <laughs> I'd rather eat this with rice. You wanna lose weight, you gotta eat the choice sum. To be honest, I really, hate choy sum <laughs> so if you are not a fan of choy sum you probably uh, want to get something else like maybe beef and broccoli or something like that how many pieces of roast pork did i eat two if i had two this would be three four and five this part is just like off fat so i'm not gonna eat this no Roast pork is good. I just wish it gave a little bit more. Okay, so we are at Time Supermarket. And so one of the great things about Time Supermarket is that they have the taste of times. So at every Time Supermarket location, they actually have really cheap plate lunches that you can get. And you can also go and make them low carb too. So we're gonna go and check it out. So I gotta say with Chinese food, the only thing with Chinese food that I don't really care for is sometimes it can be more on the salty side. So even if you're gonna go on a low carb diet and whatever water weight you lose initially from taking out the carbohydrates, you're probably gonna retain water from all the salt from the Chinese food. Hi, uh, can I get a grilled steak plate, please? 
Uh, can I make it just all vegetables? All right, everybody, so we got our food from Times, and before I show you what I got, I actually got this brand new Coca-Cola product right here called Coca-Cola Dream World, and I'm gonna go and read you the description. Okay, so we're gonna go and read the description straight from the Coca-Cola website right here. Coca-Cola Dream World makes the most fascinating parts of our imagination real. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. This limited edition sparkling beverage from Coca-Cola Creations explores the realms of the surreal, the imaginary, and the otherworldly. Experience the familiar Coca-Cola taste now with a surprising and unexpected flavor from a dream world. You know, I'm gonna try this so you don't have to go and waste two dollars and 50 cents or whatever's I paid for this. Okay, so let's go check it out. I actually heard about this from my friends from Ohana Eat. So make sure you guys go and check their channel out. I'll leave their info in the description box down below. So when I was watching their video on Instagram, apparently like you're supposed to think about whatever flavor you, you wanna taste in this Coke and you're supposed to taste that flavor. So I think I'm gonna think about chicken katsu. <laughs> so I don't know if Coca-Cola went and uh, you know figured out how to make this taste like chicken katsu but let me think oh man it smells really fruity it, yeah yeah it doesn't smell like chicken katsu at all let's open this up okay chicken katsu I hope this tastes like chicken katsu actually don't want it to taste like chicken katsu, but we'll see. <laughs> what? Ugh. It really tastes like cough syrup. You know, this is pretty disgusting. I gotta admit, this does not taste like uh, anything I'm thinking of. It tastes more like chemicals. It's kind of making me feel a little bit sick, actually, to be honest with you. Mm. It's just kind of like fruity, chemically. Yeah, don't waste your money on this unless you want to try it out. Okay, so we're gonna go and try our steak plate right here from Times. So this is less than $10, it's actually $9.99. If you factor in the tax, then yeah, it's over 10 bucks, but you know, I like to think of it as less than 10 bucks. And what's great about Times too is they actually go and give you a drink. So this YouTube amateur right here totally forgot to check his batteries for his wireless mic so that is why i'm doing a voiceover right now i don't really know what i'm saying but i kind of feel like i'm in the kung fu theater if you guys know what i'm talking about so anyways i'm talking about how the steak is really moist and tender they got nice thin slices and the best thing about getting food at times is that it's cheap. Most of the stuff there is under $10. And the steak smells really, really good when I'm taking this bite. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that delicious, Charles? Yes, it is. So the steak is perfectly seasoned. I wish they used another cut of steak, but again, for 10 bucks, you know? beggars can't be choosers so you guys are probably wondering why i have a sweater over my head but the reason why is because i'm doing a voiceover for this video so i want to go and finish this video up by telling you the last um type of food that you guys should get if you guys are on a low carb diet and that's basically any korean restaurant and the reason why i like korean restaurants so much is because you can go and pick the vegetables for the most part some places you go to you can't really go and pick the vegetables because it's preset but for the most part a lot of times you can go and pick the different types of vegetables that you want 
and the protein that you want. So for me personally, I normally get like meat jun and barbecue chicken and a bunch of different vegetables if I'm trying to low carb it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I completely messed up. I'm definitely gonna go and check the battery levels the next time I film. But make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. If you guys wanna go and support this channel, check out my buy me a coffee account. I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box down below. And make sure you guys go and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for maybe not videos like this but better videos where i don't mess up and if you guys have been just watching my videos for a while and you haven't subscribed yet please do me a big favor and subscribe it really goes and helps out with the algorithm i'm a small channel and every time you guys like comment and subscribe youtube will bless me with more exposure to other viewers just like you so thank you so much i'll see all of you next week bye okay so you guys are probably wondering why i am underneath my sweater and the reason why is because i'm doing a voiceover so <laughs> All right, so we got our steak plate from Times right here, and this is actually less than 10 bucks. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in the bloopers, I'm sorry.